Megan, and I'm a junior biology and Hispanic studies major. And I studied abroad last spring in 2019 in Quito, Ecuador, through the SIT Comparative Ecology and Conservation Program. Uh, part of the reason why I picked this program was because a lot of the courses that were being offered were able to be counted towards my major, and that was really important to me. Um, and also because um, the SIT programs put a lot of emphasis on excursions, so we spent a lot of time learning outside of the classrooms as well. And I love that when I get to travel, I get to do things outside, so it was awesome to be able to experience that with my classmates. Um, I would say one thing that I thought I would never do was swim in a river in the Amazon, which was part of one of our excursions. Um, no piranhas, which is good. They don't, they don't um, go towards people, but it was really exciting and just something that I'll never forget. Um, when I was in Quito, I ended up living with two different host families. So I lived with one for the first half of the semester, and then I lived with a different family the second half of the semester. I would say if you're thinking about studying abroad, a homestay is a great way to really immerse yourself in the culture. And for me, it really helped me work on my Spanish because they didn't know any English. So it was a really awesome way to practice. Um, let me cut it back. So when I was um, researching about different programs that I could do for study abroad, and I found the SIT program, not only did I think that it was a great fit for my courses, but also um, I was a little nervous about the big project that we had to do at the end because all the SIT programs you have to do a big paper and you have to do a month worth months worth of research and that made me kind of nervous because I've never done anything like that before but then again this kind of circles back around to why I think it's so awesome to study abroad because it makes you do things that you never thought you would do and you have to put yourself out there not only are you putting yourself out there in a new place, but it's around people who have no idea who you are and you're already a foreigner. So it's a little nerve wracking, but at the end of the day, I think that taking these risks and deciding to go to such a foreign place to me that I've never ever dreamed of ever going to, I think that really um, helped me as a person, you know, figure out a little more about myself and become a stronger student.